could be dinosaurs and Allah knows best. Can you hold that opinion as a, a Muslim? Tell him. With regards to the ayah. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ إِنِّي جَائِنٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفَةً Remember when your Lord said, O angels, I am placing a successor upon the land towards the end of that noble verse. Does this prove or can this mean that there were other beings or creatures such as dinosaurs upon the earth before the making of our forefather Adam? Some say yes. It proves that there was something there for Adam to be a successor, a khalifa, there had to be a predecessor or a predecessor. Okay? Not a, that's not a problem. What existed, what type of creature or animal existed or race, that's a different story. Some scholars say it was the jinn. And they killed and they murdered and they made a great deal of facade. And others say, al jinn al hin, another type of creation. <laughs> We're not getting into aliens and UFOs. Do we accept aliens? Are they true UFOs? That's a that's, that's long, long discussion. al muhim something was on earth before what? Adam. Not a problem. Khalifa 10. Will you place upon earth he who sheds blood? He who causes corruption? Allah says, I knoweth that which you what? Knoweth not. Not a problem. Not an issue. But that doesn't necessarily mean, in my humble opinion, and advice for each and every one of us, is to be mindful of what we say about the Qur'an. Everyone understand this? Be mindful. Be mindful of what you say about the Qur'an. And as I just have mentioned, be mindful of respecting or disrespecting the science. Whether you agree or not. Everyone understand this? Be mindful of what you say. And a person may say something that you don't agree with. That's fine. But be mindful of the scientific way of deducing things. And ask yourself, where do I stand? Huh, Abu Sa'id? Am I the dog barking at the eight-foot fence? Or am, uh, myself, do I have my own eight-foot fence? And I say, this fence is wrong. No problem. But just make sure that you're not the barking dog on the other side of the eight-foot fence, barking louder and louder for someone to hear you and see you. You differ with this person, that's not a problem. You have a different view, this person makes a mistake, this person have de has deviated, mumkin, not an issue. But what are you doing? What have you done for Islam? What are you doing for Islam? And what type of knowledge and science do you have in your mind for you to just say, this person is not making any sense, they're stupid, they're this, is that. Be careful. That's advice for myself and for what? Everyone in the times in which we live. Allahu A'lam.